Welcome back. I recently had a conversation with Kat Osterman. She's going to be pitching for Team USA at the Games in Tokyo. It was really fun to catch up with her, find out how things went during the pandemic, and she has some great tips about softball and girls. Let's take a look. After a 2020 filled with postponements, no one is more excited to compete this summer than Team USA softball. For the first time in 13 years, women's softball is back on the world's biggest stage. Before she packs her bags for Tokyo, gold and silver medalist Kat Osterman is joining us live from Dick's Sporting Goods in San Antonio. Thanks, Kat, for being here today on Park State Television. Oh, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. So we were all disappointed to see the Olympics postponed. I'm sure you even more so. How was it for you as an athlete to have to wait out the pandemic? You know, it was challenging mentally and physically. Um, we were just getting ready to start our peak performance, so to speak, in order to be ready for Tokyo. And then all of a sudden everything's postponed and you're looking at a whole nother year um, of training. And then, you know, you talk about quarantine too, to where we had to be able to train at home and get creative a little bit. So. It was challenging. I think personally, um, my husband and I made the moves, made an extra bedroom into a home gym, bought dumbbells, a rack, you know, everything I needed in order to be, be able to train. And then fortunate, he's athletic enough that he um, stepped behind the plate and he's been my catcher for the last uh, about 12 months. Um, not necessarily but willingly all the time, but uh, it's made it uh, capable of me to be able to continue to pitch at home when I need to. So that's helped. Um, I think mentally the, the biggest thing was being able to plan your training to where you didn't burn out. Cause you know, you look at 12 extra months, so much of it on your own, it's easy to push too hard and burn yourself out. And so i um, been fortunate that just was able to spend time doing some other things that allowed me to, to still love to train and, and not get overwhelmed with the fact that, you know, we had to stay focused on Olympics, but at the same time, our, our original plan was obviously uh, all mixed up. It's so exciting to see women's softball return, and we know it's going to inspire girls everywhere to take up the game. What are your tips for girls who are just getting started in the sport? You know, I think as USA athletes and just um, elite softball players, the message we like to send to, to younger athletes is to fall in love with the game and fall in love with the process. Um, it's not an easy game, it's not instant success, but uh, the joy and the love you can find and the challenges it possesses and presents is, is what makes it great. And, and I think the other thing we like to, to share with them is, is the equipment we use. Um, you know, we are fortunate as USA Softball that Dick's Sporting Goods is a sponsor of our tour, but at the same time, the equipment we use is readily available for athletes at Dick's um, Sporting Goods. So all you have to do to swing the Haley McClenney bat is to go to Dick's and, and find it. Um, a lot of times ours might look a little different color-wise and design just because we get to per personalize it a little bit for Team USA, but uh, what we use is there. And um, that's exciting to see because as an athlete growing up, um, I couldn't go to a sporting goods store and see a softball player's face, um, you know, prominent and in, in, in that section to let me know that's where I, that's who I want to be. This is the kind of equipment I want to use. And that is so important. I've actually been encouraging my daughter to start softball. So I'm going to definitely pass on your tips and this information. What else can you advise current players who are looking to up their game? I think the cool part of our sport is that metrics have started to kind of make a, um, a, I don't want to say a comeback, but make a push to where you have the ability to um, get different type of technology that allows you to see your progress and to be able to see the numbers that you're putting up. And um, again, Dick's Sporting Goods, certain stores across the country have the hit tracks cage. You can go in there and swing, see what your exit velocity is, see how far the ball travels. And as pro athletes, we use those same type of systems. So you're able to compare those numbers and see how close you are or how much progress you have to make. And so it's been really cool um, to see technology, and I just encourage all athletes to be able to start to use that. And as you look forward to this summer, who do you see as your biggest international rivals? You know, Japan's number two in the world, and we always have our eyes on them, but uh, Canada and Mexico have put together some really amazing rosters that um, we're familiar with, both from college and professionally. So we're excited for probably what I would deem the most hotly contested softball Olympic Games there has been. And where can we go for more information and to follow you on your journey? Um, I'm on social media at Kat Osterman and usasoftball.com will give you the team's tour schedule, practice schedules, anything leading into Tokyo. And again, Dick's Sporting Goods is one of our sponsors, so dicks.com as well. And we will be watching you and cheering for you here in Park City, Utah. Thank you so much, Kat Osterman, for joining us today. Thank you very much.